Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven! A very, very, very special episode of Horse Haven because it is our 100th episode! I am sort of in shock. I never imagined when I started playing Horse Haven at the request of some of you guys last year, almost exactly a year ago, that we would continue going for so long or that we would end up doing over 100 episodes. <laughs> I did not see that coming. I did not see getting so attached to the horses. I did not see loving the breeding mechanics quite as much as I did and we have so much inspiration from Horse Haven that I'm really hoping to bring into the farming side series that we're going to be beginning in our Minecraft world. It's basically going to be extremely amazing and I'm still sort of in shock that Horse Haven has been part of our lives for so long but I'm really happy about that and I'm so happy that so many of you have had a chance to try it out and that we've become friends and that we've even been able to breed our horses together and just have all of that fun go down. So yeah, one hundred episodes congratulations everybody congratulations all of our horses congratulations us for making it that far and I'm not really exactly sure what we're going to do today but I do know we are going to be work on upgrading some of our ranches I have a special building project I want to do in the UK ranch and we are going to go and visit some of our friends at random so I'm gonna visit lots and lots of people well, this might be an extra long episode of Horse Haven so I hope you guys are ready settle in enjoy Hopefully you've got some horses to tend to of your own while you can go ahead and watch as we clean our paddocks just as usual. <laughs> and that's kind of like a, a reality of life too. You can be celebrating things, but you still have to do your chores. But that's okay, because it's still it's, it's totally worth it. All right, so let's go ahead and check our mail really quickly. We have a mysterious gift to collect. Oh, thank you guys so much for hiring me as your stable hand and visiting the village. Thank you so much for the social breeding rewards. I forgot to collect a few things. Oh, yes, good. And the Pure Breeder Society has finished up their last round of tier fours. So we can try to get some new tier fours today. That'll be really exciting. We'll try breeding up for a tier four Arabian. And we'll go see what the Pure Breeder Society has in terms of earning more gemstones for our horses being able to do special tasks. So we'll go look at that. Yes, look at all those tasks. Sweet. And quite a few gemstones. Let's see. Anything else? Thank you so much to all of the unknowns for popping by to pet our horses. And I think that takes care of everything. Steeplechase races. Yeah, we've got this. We've got this. Wonderful. All right. And what are our daily tasks for the day? Clean out the paddock twice. So we have already accomplished that. Harvest six apple cookies. Run the Japanese steeplechase eight times. Sell eight apples. Visit three friends' ranches. We can definitely pull off some of those things. And here's our little foal. Here's our little foal pop who will go ahead and put into uh, one of the stables and give his first food some apples. Here you go, Paco. I actually need to go collect more apples because I have to sell some. Wow, his eyes are black. Wow. You're amazing, buddy. I kind of want to rename you to like Black Beauty. Does that fit? Let's see. Black Beauty. Oh, Black Beauty. <laughs> black Bow. <laughs> That's just going to have to be it. Like a short for Black Beauty. And that'll be his nickname after that famous horse. There we go. And because he has black eyes, wow, I'm actually kind of tempted to keep him. Not going to lie. Uh, like, he really does fit as, like, Nightshade the Second's child. Maybe maybe we'll retire Nightshade Night Candy. Night Candy, are you the boy or is it... Yeah, Night Candy. Maybe Night Candy will retire. Is he going to be level 15 now? Maybe we can get him up to level 15 today. That would be really cool. Night Candy, you think about becoming level 15. That would be a really great way to celebrate, actually. So yeah, we might retire Night Candy and let his son, like, take his place. Because holy moly, that's really cool. Black eyes on a black Arabian horse? I really like that look. All right. Everybody gets fed. Everybody gets fed. And everybody gets to celebrate the fact that it is a fantastic day. Fantastic, beautiful day. 100 episodes. <laughs> We've done a lot. We've done a lot. We've collected a lot. Oh, what's this? And there is a new horse in town, so you can get a Capricorn if you missed it. And the Sagittarius is on sale if that's the way you like to do things. I personally love just the challenge of trying to get things without buying the horses. But I know some of you guys really love to make sure you have complete collections that way. All right, let's go ahead and clean all of our stables. Make sure that we've got everything nice and tidied up. Look at all this money! Wow! And yeah, we might spend a little bit of time just kind of going around and decorating the different ranches. 
because what's what better way what better and more fitting way to celebrate today than by just getting all of the flowers out and putting flowers down <gasps> building the fl the flower fields for the bees oh my gosh that would be so much fun oh and we do need to make some room we'll breed our horses and try to get our rare horses up and going so that'll be really fun all right let's come up and clean out the paddock and just kind of like finish some of the tasks that we've been putting off because we're always so busy with our ranches. There we go. Tidy this up, tidy this up. Maybe celebrate, maybe spend some diamonds buying something that I really like but I haven't haven't bought yet because I'm trying to be well behaved. Ooh, did I already redeem those? I did already redeem those. Fooey. All right, well, that's okay. All right, so how many apples did we need to sell? We just picked some apples fresh off the apple trees. So we need to sell eight apples and we do need to harvest up the apple cookies. So there we go, apple cookies harvested. And let's go straight over to the storage, which needs upgraded. I probably should do that. And let's find six apples somewhere in here. Look at all of this food. Ah, oh, just beautifully abundant with all sorts of delicious things. All right, and then six apples. There we go. That should complete that task as well. Hey, was it eight apples? I think it was eight apples. <laughs> All right, so we need to sell two more apples. All right, so where's our apples again? Man, I remember when it was like just the two ranches and now we've got four ranches. What will another year bring? Do you guys want to see another year of Horse Haven and what things that it brings? Because, man, it's so surreal to think that we might be doing it that long, but we might. That would be really cool. Oh, there's some announcements. All right, Mystery Shop is opened with new items. Uh, oh, it's a peer breeding event. Huzzah! So hopefully we'll be able to get some pretty good things going with our peer breeding event. So we'll look into that in just a moment, too. And we do need to make room for this new foal. So who would I sell? Let's see. I know we need to keep Lucy and Apple. And Nan, I think, is one of the ones who can go. But Vito is one of the ones who can go even more so than the others. Hey, buddy. Can I level you up really fast? Here's some green salad. Can you hit level eight and then I have to give you, like, a new home? Or is that going to be too far away? Uh, we might be able to if you want orange feed. So you go ahead and stick around. Let's go ahead and feed everybody. Like, everybody who's not level 15. Sorry, Star Burning Crane. <laughs> get some food today before they get shoved into the breeding stables or off into the Pure Breeder Society. Because we're celebrating! <gasps> and plus, by feeding all of the horses like this, maybe we'll get lots and lots of experience points. And hopefully we'll clear up some space inside of our very cramped storage areas. All right, Nan, I don't know why you want to eat grass. That's kind of cute. It's like a very, very quaint little thing for a, a constellation horse to want. All right, Nan, that's so sweet. You know, Nan is my mom's nickname, one of them. Nani is her nickname. So every time I see that, I'm like, oh, my mom's wanting something sweet. All right, and then let's go ahead and feed you Lucy. Here's some cherries. I'm going to go pick some fresh cherries too. I think I want to plant some, um, I really, really think I want to plant some flowers real quick though. So let's go ahead and plant some flowers for just a minute because I want to plant flowers and celebrate 100 episodes <laughs> in a very Siri way, which would definitely be like getting trees. <gasps> we should put a tree over here. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Trees are so pretty. I love trees. I love greenery and trees. Okay. I could put a tree there if I wanted to. Can I put a tree over here? Would you go over there? Nah, the tree doesn't want to go there. They're really stubborn. That's the thing about these trees. Do I want a tall tree or do I want a big fat tree? I really like the big fat trees. Ah, oh, they're so cool. They're so cool. <laughs> I really love these trees, but I feel like a tall tree would be very fitting for going in front. Let's put this guy over here for going in the front yard. And don't they just look so much better with trees? I love it. I really, really love it. Let's put some more pathing down. All right, what kind of pathing would I want down here, actually? Now that I have a chance to think about it. I mean, we could even put down street lamps because we have this kind of path, but I honestly think that the whole ranch would look better if we had this kind of stone path. So yeah, we're just gonna spend a little bit of time today because it is the 100th episode kind of celebrating like this by putting things down and just sort of appreciating. If I move this flower over here, and kind of appreciating our beautiful ranches because we we're always so on task and so busy we never really take time to do these kinds of things but how else are you going to savor all of the hard work you do 
and everything that you've accomplished if you don't just like slow down every now and then. All right, no, 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 I don't want, I want, I want, no, I don't want the mysterious gift. I want the path, this path right there. Whoops, can I not get rid of, ooh, can you not remove path? Ooh, I zoomed in. Oh yeah, you can, you can. It's just being really stubborn. Ah, oh, okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of that, that mysterious gift before I'm able to reach it. All right, so here you go, Nan. I'll put some pathing down in front of your place or get back to my flowers. There you go. Level six. I want to see my beautiful flowers, please. Oh, and there. All right, he's ready to be fed. All right, Vito. Can you become level eight now? Because I have a little baby who needs some space. Nope, okay. <laughs> well, we'll see if I can clear out one of these areas. It looks like Nan might be going in a moment. All right, so let's put down either some pathing or some flowers, whichever I happen to run across first. Um, there's the brick path. And I wish there was an easier way to replace it. So I'm gonna have to get in here later and just kind of fight with it. There we go. So now we have that path down there. And then I just wanna fill the entire area around the bumblebees up with flowers. Ooh, there's red flowers. I could get fancy red flowers. Do the red flowers? No, they would not match with the roses <laughs> that are back there. I could get fancy red flowers sprinkled in, but honestly, I like the look of the wildflowers. They're very, very pretty to me. There's purple flowers. Let's see, ah, the wild yellow flowers. See, aren't they just so lovely? And I just imagine that the bees would really like them. Maybe they're more native plant for the bees, who knows? All right, let's put down more of them, just really quickly. Because I'm always talking about doing this and then I never do. So we're just gonna take a moment to kind of enjoy putting down a bunch of wildflowers for the bees. There we go. And then we will visit with everybody too. Okay, well as many people as I can. We'll visit with at least like maybe maybe 10 people. I'll do my best and we'll see how that turns out. All right, maybe a little bit more over here. Yeah, just imagine this whole area full of wildflowers. That'll be really nice one day. All right. And then let's see about some of the other types of wildflowers and we'll just work on filling it in a little bit at a time when we have a little bit of free time. And then hopefully the end results will be absolutely just beautiful fields of flowers everywhere. And I'm gonna love that, that's gonna be so nice. All right, and a few more over here. And then maybe a couple up here under our new big tree, which looks so cool. And some white wildflowers there. And let's look for some of the like purple ones and some of the, the bigger ones in just a second too. All right, maybe you there. And then, Nan, do you want something? Eh, eh. All right, and Nan actually wants some cookies. I think I have a ton of these cookies, so we'll just go ahead and feed them. But this is pretty good for us too, because we might get to level 38 if we just keep feeding all of our horses like this too. All right, so she's been fed. And then you want something too, my friend? Apple the second, he wants grapes, which I think we have a lot of, so. Yeah, it's a good thing to be feeding our horses. Man, we've been so busy just running around and trying to do the daily task. It feels really nice to know we can just take our time today because it's episode 100. Might as well. All right, there you go, Starburn. Somebody's already <laughs> used the paddock. I can't feed you star strawberries. Sorry about that. Then Lucy wants some of this. It'd be kind of cool if the higher the level your horse was, like just even incrementally more the chance of having, like if you had a rank 15 horse, that would be really cool if that would maybe potentially give you the opportunity. Ah, oh, no, I can't give you any green feed. Fooey, or any green salad. But it'd be really cool if having like a rank 15 horse would give you an increased chance of getting a rare foal uh, when you breed them. I get why it doesn't do that, but still I think that would be cool. All right, and then even if it was just like a 1% addition. All right, maybe, no, not the dirt road. And then some of those. All right, we'll go ahead and move on in just a second here. Actually, I don't do the red wild flowers here, do I? Yeah, we'll move on in just a second here, but I have to say, look how cute this is. Yeah, all right, you guys. So this is gonna be a constant project of ours. Every time we come to the French ranch, we'll try to take a few minutes just to put down at least a couple more flowers at a time. And we'll see how long it takes us before this entire thing is just going to be filled with extra flowers everywhere. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. That really is gonna be so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna say that Nan, or what about you? Amy, I think Amy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and sell Amy. She is a tier one for 50 diamonds. Amy, I love you. We will see you again later. 
And we're gonna move this little foal. What a name. Oh, over here. Oh, he wants a pumpkin. Do I have a pumpkin for him? I have pumpkins for him. So we're gonna go ahead and feed him and then we'll move on to the German ranch and see how things are doing over there. I'm still very proud of our German ranch build, by the way. Turned out really, really good with all of those beautiful uh, red flowers and our little celebration for the year of the monkey. All right, let's pop over here and collect up all of our coins. Hello, everyone! And we are still trying to breed for the Gemini. We need a female Gemini to pair with our male Gemini. I've been neglecting doing that lately, so we'll do our best. And because it's pure breeding boost right now, then hopefully we'll be able to get like the Pisces and the Arabian um, tiers that we want. Oh, wow, this is so cool. You know, I might sell these little gravel roads. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with decorating because we have our little forest over here with our beautiful emeralds and pearls. Ooh, and more diamonds from the mines. But what I really need to do is like decorate the rest of the, um, the rest of the farm somehow and I kind of want to do it with gnomes and mushrooms <laughs> but I think I would have to isolate them like over here maybe I could build a little gnome forest back here <gasps> that would be so cute what do you guys think about that we'll think about building a gnome forest in the future all right so we've taken care of all of that do we need to do anything here for our daily tasks nope all right, so let's see. Then we have a foal who was born, another Gotland pony, which is adorable, but we're gonna go ahead and sell him. And then uh, let's see who we can feed. I know we're out of the green, that green feed. Karine is level 15, so she actually technically doesn't need fed. Um, and we need to save the green feed to make the uh, green salads. Do I have the pumpkins? <gasps> I do, I have the pumpkin salad. Sweet, so we can give him some delicious pumpkin salad. There you go, Pongo. That was a good boost for you too, wasn't it? Wonderful. And then we can go ahead and just move down the horses. Everybody, yay, Alonzo! You're up to level 11, I'm so proud of you. Everybody who's not like already level 15 gets extra feed today. Yes, and more diamonds, Alonzo, thank you. We're actually really quickly starting to repair our hoard of diamonds that we lost out on. If I can get back over a thousand diamonds, that'll make me happy. That's like our insurance for any special events that happen. There you go, Lonzo. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. And feeding all of our horses is giving us a lot of experience today. So this is very helpful. And then after we feed everybody and go to the Pure Breeder Society, uh, then we will start breeding everyone and putting them in paddocks. And then we'll go and visit a whole bunch of ranches. At random, as usual. Like, we'll visit a few of the ones I know off the top of my head are pretty updated. And then we'll visit a few of the other ones at random. And then if somebody has a shire, we will breed against their shire. Because it was pointed out to me, because I completely forgot, that if you have um, the horse that you're trying to breed for, and it's not a constellation horse, it makes more sense to find somebody who already has that horse and breed against them, because you have a higher chance of getting like a shire if you breed against a shire, instead of breed the two that we've been doing up at the UK ranch. So we'll look into that in just a moment. I think everybody here is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we can set off some fireworks. <laughs> And this area is looking very nice. I'm pretty proud of it. Good, so we'll have to think about that. Let's just take a quick glance at the shop. And I'll see, whoa, okay. Yeah, the quick glance at the shop and what I know I'm probably gonna need are more stone piles. I guess I'll grab a couple of those before we go to the UK ranch. And then I can like unpack them at the UK ranch because they just look like they'd be perfect for the UK ranch to me. Not so much the German ranch, but that's because somehow my German ranch turned into like the Chinese New Year garden. <laughs> I'm not really sure how that happened. All right, there we go. And then we go ahead and you pack them all up. And that is how you transfer items between your ranches, because some items can only be purchased from one type of ranch. All right, and anything else? Hmm. I know we need to buy that tractor at some point in order to unlock a specific reward. There's the mushrooms, there's the stump benches. Uh, let's see, there's the gnomes. Having a bunch of the gnomes around might be kind of cute. Maybe, or maybe I'll go with the swan garden instead. Hmm, I do love the swan princess. That was one of my favorite, like, movies to watch when I was growing up. It's still pretty good, too. I'll never forget the lines in it. Oh. All right, and then let's see, a whole bunch of fences. <laughs> I really wish there was a way to toggle the fences out because I'm not really interested at all in the flag fences. All right, yeah, and that's about it for what's over here in the German ranch. So let's pop up to the UK ranch and then we can get a move on with breeding our horses, getting them all sorted and going to visit you guys. 
All right. Sorry, itty bitty little UK ranch. It still has so much growth it needs. All right, let's tidy this up in the back, get the paddock all tended to. What do we need to upgrade the paddock? Let's see, I needed diamonds, so we might, we might do that pretty soon. And then we've got some food ready. So there's actually some of the green feed right there. And then we can go through and collect up a whole bunch of lettuce, a whole bunch of beets, and we'll go and take care of those in just a second. Uh, looks like that's it for over here. What does it take to upgrade the storage? Oh, we almost have we have enough diamonds for the storage if we wanted to do that. But the thing is, I have I have something else in mind that I want to do. <laughs> so let's see. Um, let's see. There's three little areas here, and I actually want to clear these two areas, even though it's pretty expensive. Because there is one specific task I have in mind that I want to do back here today to celebrate 100 episodes. All right, and then we have a little foal, a beautiful Irish sport, uh, a female this time, but we're actually gonna go ahead and sell her. There you go, little one. And then we're gonna come down here and I need to get some strawberries started. I do need to upgrade at some point, but I can't for the watermelon. Um, let's see, so we're gonna get some pumpkins started. And then what do I need? To, will this cover strawberries? And then let's get strawberries. Because I've seen strawberries come up a lot for some of our horses lately. And it seems like a lot of them are asking for the green salad. Oh, I need to make more green feed. Okay, we'll go and make more green feed in a little bit. And can I feed you guys to celebrate the 100 episodes? Uh, Jimmy! Here you go, some carrot muffins. And then I want to build a Stonehenge. So that's going to be our, our reward for 100 episodes is I'm going to spend the diamonds and the whatnots on building a little stone hinge in the back of the area. Hey, April. So we'll work on that in just a minute here. Hello, Lucky. And then we'll start breeding up our horses and we will start visiting everybody after that. So let's go ahead and build a stone hinge. We have built a bee garden, expanded our bee garden. It's not completed just yet. Hey, Risa, I'll get you more wheat in a little bit. And we're going to build a Stonehenge, and that's going to be our celebrations. Oh, and I need to possibly put the market down here at some point. All right, so the big stones. I think I can only buy one of them because of how expensive they are. And I might put down, like, a couple of white hairballs. <gasps> There's a beautiful English oak tree. Yes. All right. We'll put you down over here. I love the trees. I really love the trees. Anything else I need to look at before we start buying the big giant rocks? The big giant expensive rocks. Um, yee, lots of defenses, as usual. Uh, let's see, wild red flowers, wild purple flowers, wild blue flowers, beautiful as always. It makes me want to go visit South Hoof and Horse Haven. That's what this makes me want to do. All right, and then wild orange flowers, also very cute, wonderful. All right, so I think I know what we want. All right, gotta go all the way back up to the top. Ah, ah, have to climb our way all the way back up. All these fences, I swear. All right, and nope, still not there. <laughs> For real? There's a cute little post box. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. So I can only get one big stone right now, but we can put it down and then we can eventually expand our little, our little area over here. So there we go, one of the big stones. And then I can put down a few more kind of around it. And we will build this up over time. Whenever we're celebrating something monumental, like a big goal that we have reached, we'll build this up and we'll make this just super amazing in the back here. There we go. And maybe one over here. I do need some more of these guys at some point, because these would look so cool. Oh, we'll be able to sprinkle them around and make them look really awesome, but they're very expensive. I have no regrets buying it though, because it's gonna be really fun. All right, and then maybe one kind of over here. We don't want it to look like too circly. I want it to look somewhat organic and natural. Hmm. But I also don't want it to look like a bunch of, of fangs and claws bursting out of the ground to grab something. All right, and then we'll put one over here too, I think. Let's see, like so. Maybe right there. And there we go, that's a good start. That's a good start, I'm happy with that. And then we'll just have to expand it as time goes on. And then blue hairbells that can kind of be sprinkled behind it. There we go. And we'll even do like a white one. Just kind of, the white ones will be the only ones that grow in the middle. Cause that's really cute actually. <laughs> All right, we'll put down like a few, like a, a three or so of the little white ones, maybe five. Five seems like a good number, even though that's a lot of diamonds, but it's a lucky number. So we'll put down the little white ones. 
And they'll only ever be here in the middle. Okay, let's put you right there. And then let's scooch this one over a little bit. Right there. And then maybe move this one over here. We'll see, we'll see. And then we'll put one more down. Hmm, that's actually a pretty good spot. All right, there we go. So there we are, we have the white little hairballs, which hairballs, hairbells. And I can't turn them, but they're really pretty. All right, and then we can put down a few of the blue ones, and then we'll add in some of the wildflowers at some point too. Ah, so a lot more detail work on trying to make our ranches look as individual and different as possible. Uh, this time, rather than like breeding our horses, but we are gonna be breeding our horses in just a second, but that's okay, because it's the 100th celebration episode. All right, and anything else, anything else? Any of the really cool, any of the cool plants? Hello, I wish there was a way to filter the things in the shops. As we get more and more cool stuff, it's amazing, but it makes it a little bit tricky when you're just trying to get in to find like specific things. All right, maybe, can I put you here? Yeah. And then a couple more wildflowers. And then this will just be a nice, beautiful wild area that we can add to as time goes on. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And maybe a couple more. I need to kind of smooth this out. And then what about like right here? And then, ha! I can kind of rotate it a little bit. And then maybe a couple plants on either side. Where are my little other, whoa! Yeah, like these guys, the little blue flowers. There we go. There, and that kind of softens the square shape of the flower beds. That's very cool, okay. And then maybe a little, a little orange one down here. I love it, there we go. All right, so we're celebrating our 100 episodes with a little monolith like that. It's awesome. And we're gonna get started now, you guys. So let's go ahead and start checking on what's going on in the Peer Reader Society. Apparently we can already unlock the Lustiano. I don't really want to. <laughs> I really love Australian Brumby. That's Kareen's kind of horse. Oh, let's go for this. Start, start, start. Oh, look, we do need to do the authentic, like the authentic, uh, identification, there we go. I don't know why I was trying to say authentication when it's the identification, but Karine is being identified as an Australian Brumby and we need to, let's put the little horse right there. We need to go ahead. Oh, I don't have enough to unlock that. <laughs> I totally forgot. That's why we're saving part of our, um, part of our wonderful diamonds. And we need to do a dressage contest that can be pretty much with anybody. Hey, Bobby, you go ahead and do it and then we'll come back for those guys. But yeah, I really, I don't want to, I don't want to do this one. I don't want to unlock it. I want to save all of my precious, precious things. All right, come here, come here, Karine. You're helping out. So what would I need to finish unlocking this? I need four more sapphires. And that's it. Really, that's it? <gasps> you know what? I'm willing to spend all of my, my stuff unlocking this, even though that's all of my sapphires, because Karine could have a baby. Karine could have like the next version of her. It could be a tier four and I would be honored to have Karine's child. That would be really cool actually. And I think we'll be able to actually do it. <gasps> then I need to go find like another Australian Brumby to breed against. What? Karine, Karine, come here Karine. We might be able to get one of your children to be a tier four. That would be amazing. All right, well, we're gonna let that go ahead and run in the background. And while we do that, let's come over because it is the Pure Breeding Society, uh, or it is the Pure Breeding Boost right now. And we will continue with our little Pure Breeding Boost. Oh, look, and there's all the things. <gasps> yes, all of these little green feeds. Okay, so let's make some more green feeds really quickly. And there we go. Oh, I need more wheat. All right, need more wheat for so many things. I will make some more green feeds real quick. There we are, there we are. But yeah, I hope you guys are okay with this being a very, very long episode. It is a special being Horse Haven's like celebration of our 100th episode. And I get a lot of requests to do like hour long Horse Haven's. And I'm like, what, what, what? So it always surprises me when people ask for that, but I have my ear to the ground. So just speak up, speak up. All right, anything else? Okay, gotta get some uh, soybeans made up pretty soon. And then let's see, night candy. Will this be enough to feed you up and get you to the higher level? Will that help out? There you go, buddy. Are you gonna hit level 15? That'd be kind of amazing if you did. No, I need to make you some pumpkin salad. I think I'm out of pumpkin salad. 
And then how's Nick Shade doing? Pretty good. She just wants a couple of these. And then let's go ahead and breed these guys up. All right, there you go, Nightshade. Wonderful. You, you can get some pie when you guys come back out. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, so now we're going to grab Night Candy and Nightshade. Pure breeding bonus. Woo! All right. And we're aiming. Ah, uh, that's right. You only get the boost from spinning the diamonds. Well, no. I'm not going to do that because I've spent so many diamonds trying to get these fulls. And it doesn't get me anywhere. I'd rather spend diamonds on stones, to be honest. <laughs> All right. So there we go. We have another tier two on the way. Not quite what we were aiming for, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. And then let's see. Um, that should take care of everybody here for now. So let's go ahead and stick everyone else out into the paddock so that they can go ahead dun, 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 and level up and eventually be sold for diamonds or in the case of our Gemini, just get to a higher level. Let's go back over to the Pure Breeder Society and we're gonna do it, you guys. We are going to unlock, there we go. We are going to unlock the Australian Brumbree tier four because we are going to celebrate Kareen by hopefully helping her Dun, dun, dun. Hopefully helping her to be able to have a baby legendary. I'm really excited about that actually. All right, so let's jump on in. And we're gonna try breeding up our Pisces because they're the ones that we're working on over here. There we go, hello everyone. And then you, my friend, Vito. I actually do have some green salads for you. There you go, buddy. Woo, lovely! Yay, so happy! I'll let you go ahead and stick around for a little bit longer just in case you level up soon. And then let's go ahead and breed everyone here. Look at all the flowers we've added in. I am so proud about that. And then Lucy and Apple. Pure breeding event is going on, but I'm not gonna spend the diamonds. And we're gonna see if we can get our tier three Pisces that we're still aiming for. Nope, not even close, but that's okay. We love our little ones, so it's still worth trying for. And then here is a tricky thing. We need to breed Kareen to be able to get that tier four, um, the tier four Australian Brumby. But we're still have, the, the breeding houses over there are still occupied because we are also trying to get the Gemini. So let's pop over. And I think we'll breed Kareen this time to celebrate Kareen and celebrate the fact we unlocked uh, tier four for her kind of horse. But that's only if we can find another Australian Brumby. So let's start visiting everyone. Like I said, we would. I think we'll try to visit maybe six people or so. I'm just going to start jumping around and seeing who I see. Uh, let's go visit Kirsten really quickly. And we're looking for a Shire that we can breed one of our horses up against. Or we're looking for a Australian Brumby Tier 3. Wow. Wow. Look at how expanded this is. Oh, did we get food? <gasps> Yes, I got a watermelon. Oh, that's my like one of my first watermelons. All right, and nobody here fits that bill. And then, yeah, I'm just starting at the high levels because they're usually the ones who tend to have the horses I'm looking for. And then who are you? Thoroughbred. Yeah, that's a thoroughbred. And then you are a Canadian. And then over here. Okay, nope, not the ones I'm looking for. And then I know Courtney. So yeah, sometimes when you guys message me, if you know we're friends, I'm able to like try to remember like, okay, I got to go visit that person. I know Courtney messaged me. Is this a Shire? It's a Shire named Fifi. Okay. Shire Fifi female, uh, Kirsten level 52. So we're going to go back to the UK ranch really quickly because that's one of the two kinds of horses we were looking for. And we're going to go back and breed up against Fifi. All right, Pongo, I found you a new mate. Kirsten and let's see German ranch and Fifi and then once we I think it was the German ranch maybe it was the French ranch we'll check all right yeah there she is all right no wait that's siren what am I doing it was the French ranch I knew I had something out of, out of sync with that all right there we go so the Shire Fifi let's see if we can get the little Shire born so let's see let's use lucky and see if we're lucky with lucky's name and so what we're aiming for is actually Flora, the Shire, in the blue. But it looks like we have a good chance of getting another Irish sport. Or we have a good chance of getting a... a uh, in the pink. But we want blue. So we're going for blue, you guys. Come on, blue. Oh, man. For just a second, I thought we'd be lucky enough. But that's okay. 
So another Irish sport. Lucky and Jimmy's genes seem extremely strong because we often end up with Irish sports. And then the last thing that we're going to be looking for as we tour around and visit so many of your guys' different ranches. Oh, and then I also need to get some salads made. All right, do I have enough? Uh, nope. Ah, I need more soybeans. Okay, we'll get some turnip salad up at least. Ah, I need more turnips. <laughs> and then I'm actually, oh, let's start upgrading these things too. Even though it's going to make me go broke. Up you go, up you go for pumpkin salad, for crying out loud. All right, we'll get there, we'll get there. But then let's go back to the German ranch. And so the last horse we're looking for for breeding today would be either a tier three or four Australian Brumby. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can find one while we visit your guys' ranches. So hang in there, Colleen. We might get a really cool baby. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, how about Karsten? So let's go visit Karsten. See what Karsten's ranch is up to. And I am just kind of picking at whim and randomness. <gasps> yes! And we're gathering up so many things. Hello, new fruits. Hello, new vegetables, I mean. Yay. Oh, and there's a little strawberry. Sweet. All right. And then lots of babies. Oh, wow. I'm so envious of the people who have managed to already, like, get there. You're fully expanded. So, Karsten, doing well as always. And then we'll go and visit Courtney. We'll go and visit um, Katie. All right. Oh, and there's so many things. So she just came through. <laughs> if we help her water her stuff, then we get to like collect what's over here. Beautiful horse. Andalusian. Halflinger. Oh, Australian Brumby. Oh, no, that's an Andalusian too. It looked like a Brumby to me for a second. Dolhurst. Any Brumbies? I really do love the Brumbies. We might breed Kareen at random in the hope of getting a Brumby, but that doesn't often happen. We used to raise exclusively Brumbies. Um, Halflinger. But it's been a while. All right, so let's keep moving. I, I tend to settle, oh, Katie! I tend to settle at the ranches where people have really done like nice layouts, because then I know they're they're interested in having people see what their layouts look like. All right, Katie! Oh, look at everybody. Look at the little spotted family going around in circles. That's so cute. And then I know that some of you guys actually have some of Karine's children. <gasps> Beautiful Pisces. Oh, if only I could get my Pisces to breed properly. Look at the little bell tower. It's so cute. So cute. Oh, geez. I didn't even know there was a road over here. <laughs> I learned something new just then. Um, so we visited three people so far. And then any Brumbies? Beautiful horses. I really need to try to expand our horsepedia. <laughs> That's an Arabian? Why am I not trying to breed against the tier 4 Arabian? I should be doing that. Nova, I'll be back. Oh, look at the gardens. Ah, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. <gasps> wow, look at this setup. This is nice. This is really a nice setup for having like the horse market and the train station. I like that a lot. And there's a little path that comes straight up into where the grand stable is. Very nicely done, Katie. All right, and then let's continue moving around. And we've got a Morgan, Serenity, beautiful. There's a tier three Andalusian female <laughs> named Ocean. <laughs> oh, so close. Andalusian male, tier three, named Viking. No way, Katie, Katie. Okay, Karine. Wait, no, Andalusian, Australian Brumby. Why am I still thinking? No, did I just lock her into like the breeding? I didn't mean to do it. I really didn't mean to do it. Oh dear, I chose the wrong one. Well, we might have just completely ruined that. Why do I get Australian Brumby and like the Andalusian mixed up? I don't know. They look kind of similar. All right, let's come visit April. And then I'm going to start, like I'll go visit Courtney and we're just going to start like going rapidly down the line at random. Lustiano, she's cute with the little hat. Very nice. No fresh fruits and things to help harvest, but that's okay. All right, and... Skull candy! Skull candy! Katie! I haven't just visited Katie! And then Skull candy! There we go. Alright, I know we have multiple Katie's, so if I miss you, Katie, and you know who you are. <gasps> what? I love this! Skull candy! It's awesome! Ah, this mix of pathing? A plus 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 plus. I love it. I really love it. And I do think I have doomed my Australian Brumby into having to breed in the, the cycle she's in. Ah, oh, Skull Candy. See, this is what I mean. The people who like take time to decorate in this much detail and depth, they're the ones I'm probably gonna stop and visit the ranches of. So just keep that in mind, you guys, because they're the ones who stand out in my mind. All right, hello, it's been a long time, Sakura. I hope you're doing well. Beautiful Geminis. Oh, I should breed my Gemini against 
Ah! Ah! Skull Candy, I'll have to be back and bring my Gemini against your Gemini, and then I might get- Of course I'm gonna get a Gemini, instead of sitting here and just twiddling my thumbs. Ah! You think after a year of playing I would remember these things? Look at the way the cactuses are mixed in there. That's gorgeous. I might try to mimic that because that is just really pretty. All right. Thank you so much, Skull Candy. All right. So let's see. Come down here. And then I know Courtney, who is around 34, was saying hello and that she's... Ah, there she is, Courtney! And that she's been working hard. So let's see what's Courtney, what Courtney has been up to. Hi! Oh, look at the little flowers. Oh, my gosh. Oh! A tier 3 Shire named Snow King? He's gorgeous! We'll have to come and try breeding up against him, Courtney! Oh, he's so pretty! Alright! Oh my goodness! Alright, so we're gonna wrap up in just a second here. Especially because I think I have doomed- There's another Andalusian tier 4! Why am I mixing my Andalusians up? Look at all these tier 4s! Oh my gosh! Rain Dance! Look at you! Sugar Boy! Holy moly! Courtney! Arabian tier 4 named Flower Girl. Why am I not breeding against them? I don't even know why. I'm just being a goofball. That's why. Oh my gosh. I almost didn't recognize this as the German ranch because it's so devoid of trees. I was like, wait, where am I? That is so cool. All right. So we'll visit. Uh, how about two or three more people kind of at random after this? Is that seriously a higher tier Gemini? I am high strung. I love the names. I love this. I love doing ranch tours. We might do that in the future, you guys, where like you can tweet me a picture of your ranch and I'll put it down on the list. As long as we're like friends, which to be friends, we have to be Facebook friends first, and then you can send me an invite on Horsehaven. But we also only can be playing Android devices. So if you're not playing an Android device, then unfortunately we can't be friends, which sounds so sad. It's just the way the games are set up. All right, we'll figure it out. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes again and yum! All right, Denusi, Denusia, Dancia. All right, oh, look at the little, the little adorable rump there. So this is Woody. I love the moss on the houses. Oh, they're so cute. And it's really fun to see how many of our friends are starting to hit the higher levels. I don't think I'm even this high level yet. I'm not even, I'm 37. So these are all people who are higher level than me. It's Kareen! Kareen's baby! Kareen, oh my goodness. Or another one named Kareen. Oh my gosh. Can I can I breed my horses? <gasps> Kareen, I haven't doomed you yet! I can breed you! I'm pretty sure. Is she there? She's there! Okay, so we'll keep our eyes peeled for a Brumby or somebody. As long as it's a male. I need a male Brumby. And then we can hopefully end up with a tier 4 Brumby. So if you have a male Brumby, do let me know. Because hopefully I'll be able to breed Colleen up against your horse. All right, so close my eyes again, and we're just gonna zip, 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 and I'm it. There we go. And then we'll visit one more person after this, because oh, this one's not opened up just yet. Come on, Australian Brumbies. And then we'll just have to hope that we can get Colleen at her tier four legendary baby, because I would be so proud. All right, and who are you? Okay, not a tier, not a Brumby. I've started to get a little bit, like, focused, because I'm like, I have my goal in mind now. I want Kareen to have her, her wonderful child. All right. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. And then we are still trying to get the legendary for our Arabians, too, but it's a little bit of work to do that. All right. But as you can see, we've been going for almost an hour now, and there's just so much. All right. Last person. Uh, okay. Let's do Rachel right here. I know we didn't really visit a lot of the lower levels, but I'm looking for something very specific. So, apologies, apologies. Ah, oh, so pretty. <laughs> Everybody, <gasps> Australian Brumby, female. Oh, so close, but where there's one, there might be more. Where there's one, there might be more. <laughs> Rachel, Rachel, do you have a male Australian Brumby? Um, that's okay if you don't. I love your clover field. Why didn't I think of that? <gasps> we should do a clover field for the gnomes! For the gnomes and the mushrooms! Just a whole field of clovers! That would be perfect! I love that idea! Thank you so much, Rachel! I needed that inspiration! Ah, uh, see, and it looks like Brumbies! I, I am just seeing Brumbies, even when they're not Brumbies, they're Halflingers. <laughs> it's because I so desperately want a Brumby. <laughs> I guess I'll just have to breed Kareen at random and hope that she tosses a male. And then we'll see what happens. Because the thing is, we've unlocked it. Oh, oh, Brumby, Brumby. Female. 
<laughs> the thing is, now that we have unlocked it, um, let's see, what about over here? Irish sport. Well, you know, I guess we might as well find a male shire and try our luck getting a shire that way. Are you a male? You're, you're a female. You're a, a Clydesdale. I don't have a Clydesdale yet, though. Who had that male shire? And I was like, holiday snooking. Was that you, Skull Candy? I think that was you. So we might as well just breed Korean against a male shire. Oh, nope. Skull Candy, apologies. It wasn't you. <laughs> There's just so many amazing people. And they have so much going on. Katie, was it you? I know somebody had like a, a tier three shire and I was like, what on earth? And I can't remember anymore. Kirsten, it wasn't you, was it? Does anybody have a male shire? I need to start keeping notes and Katie actually sent me pictures on Twitter of like a notebook that she keeps to organize like who can be bred with who and what her current goals are. April, do you have a Shire? Okay, now we're just desperately breeding Korean with anybody. Let's see, Lustianos, nope. Well, now I feel like a silly silly goose goose. Uh, was it Courtney, I think, who actually had it? And we were like, holy days, Courtney, how did you do that? I think so. All right, and this is why I wish there was a way to kind of like sort your friends list or like mark them or tag them somehow. There you are, Snooking! All right! Well, at least this way we'll hopefully end up with something positive out of this mix. So, we have the chance of getting a Shetland tier one, which would really be a sad thing. Or we could get a male Australian Brumby, that's what we're going for, so blue, blue, blue. Or we could end up with a tier three Shire male named Vulcan, which is kind of amazing, and we would just skip tiers one and two. So, all right, anything but pink. Anything but the pink is what we're going for here. Come on, Courtney, come on. Okay. Well, that's all right. We have a little Shetland. That's okay. We're going to love him regardless. All right. Plus the name Avatar is kind of cool. There we go. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for the super special, extremely long series voices beginning to go out bonus of having our amazing Horse Haven 100th episode special. Talk about a fantastic time. I am so excited. I'm so proud. I will run those eight Japanese steeplechases in the background. And we're going to wrap up for the day by going to the quiz stand. What is the French word for horse? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I was right! <laughs> I study ang like Asian languages, not French, like not the Latin languages, so it's a little hard for me. A derby is a type of horse race originated from England? <gasps> yes! I feel like I'm back in school and getting all of the multiple choice questions right purely off of luck. Which of the following is a type of horse breed in France? Breed. Yes, and we've got a couple more beautiful diamonds. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Talk about an amazing time. Absolutely awesome adventure. We've got all sorts of baby horses and foals coming on in soon. We need to continue raising up everybody else to sell them for diamonds. Continue growing everything. I really want to clear this area out now and turn it into like nothing but a clover field filled with mushrooms and gnomes. I think that would be so fun and i will see you guys next time bye bye